Okay, guys, we're here at the Circus World Museum in Baraboo, Wisconsin. We're about ready to enter the the entrance, and uh, my brother is patiently waiting for me to come across the street. Okay, here we go. Hey, hi guys, how you doing? We're at Baraboo, Wisconsin, at the Circus World Museum, and uh, we're outside right now. We're gonna uh, show you inside too at the same time later. But uh, this is a big place, there's a lot to see here. We're at the prime time of the season, midsummer. Uh, this is when you want to come and see everything. We got off season in the spring, the way we understand it, and also in the fall. And uh, the tickets vary according to what time you come. Uh, of course, summertime is more expensive because there's more here to see. Uh, but uh, I just uh, wanted to introduce this to you. I've never been here in my life. This is all new to me. So uh, let's explore. Let's check it out. So uh, I have no clue what's going on. We're just going to walk around and check it out. So come with me and uh, we'll explore. So behind me you see some nice sculptures of these elephants. I think they're pretty cool. I thought it would be a great spot to do my intro. So uh, let's journey on now and uh, I'll take you for a walk around. Uh, there's supposed to be a, a, a tiger, I believe, or something across the river here. The lady says we're going to take a walk over there, check that out. So we'll see what's going on. So come with us. Oh, well, here's the tigers. I guess the show ain't ready to start yet. Got quite a few tigers in there. They all look very hot. I guess we got about a half hour before we start the show here. So we'll get back to it. This is one of the displays they got in one of the buildings here where they got set up of many. They got all these little areas to try to get it so you can see a little bit, but it's hard to do because they're behind glass. So there's one here that isn't too bad for glare. Another scene here. There's just some of the stuff you see in some of the buildings. Another scene here. Just little models that they set up. And another building. Where there's uh, some of the costumes. And up on top, you see the banners, all the different sections of the different circus names. Gargantua the Great. This is the wagon they use all around in. You can make it out or not, but he's in there. The tax taxidermist did him up. There's too much, 
too much glare, I guess. Might be able to see them. That's the whole trailer there. Uh, to go look and see what it's like to be locked up in a cage. Oh, yeah. And here we are. There. Inside looking out. Yeah, that's what it looks like from an animal's view. Let me out of here. <laughs> With all the rain we've had, I feel like that stuff is still flowing. Who knows how many how long it will be before it eases up. I believe it was the Baraboo River. Is there such a thing as a Baraboo River? Well, yeah, that's what this is called. That's what this is called. No, it's pretty good size. Well, all the big rivers are named off either Wisconsin, the Rock, the, the uh, Mississippi, or whatever. You know. There's elephants over there, the live ones. Really? You gotta go see them. Yeah, I didn't know they were around anymore. We gotta see those. Uh, say, folks, this is all new to me. Never been here before. Just can't randomly going through here. What's outside? Here's a good scene. Guys watching the elephant. Look at that. What a scene. <laughs> this makes it worthwhile. Beautiful. Nice day to be cooled off. All right, we can spread down. The other ones want their turn. Yeah. Now watch, we don't get misted, misted over the lens here. They're like humans, you tell them what to do. 
a new one coming in. Oh, that feels good. Oh, I can't wait to get cooled off. Okay, this is a permanent uh, tent here that we uh, came into here. It's, they call it uh, nothing but nonsense. And uh, right now there's nothing going on in here. Of course, we're here on a Thursday. You know, I can't tell you when they run this, but uh, you know, you got plenty of seating in here, you know, both ways. There's a, you know, the act goes on there, of course, and then you got seating this way. So, uh, so that's that. We'll go on to the next adventure here. Okay, Ringley Brothers and Barlow and Bailey. Uh, get a little, little bit of history on that part that I know. See, I come from a town called Delvin, Wisconsin, and believe it or not, uh, we had a little part of this too in our town. Uh, some of the circus uh, actually, that was their stomping ground in Delvin, Wisconsin. They had their base camp there for quite some time in the early days. And we actually had a small museum there also. And uh, they moved out later on when I was working for the city. And then they moved to, to Milwaukee and put the museum. Because it was non-profitable. There weren't getting enough people in there. And later on, they, uh, they moved it out to Milwaukee. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of spots in Delaware I can take you around and show you some of the stomping grounds where they set camp up and had the animals back in them days, you know, and uh, some of the parks that uh, I can tell you about through the history that I found working there. Uh, some of the stories I heard. Uh, but this is the, the, the big area up here at Baraboo. This is where they came up here and, uh, you know, the Barnum and Bailey and all that. And, uh, I don't know enough about it to really give you an accurate story, but uh, I just thought I'd bring that up and let you know that Dullivan played a big part of the, the circus with the uh, Barlow and Bailey. And if you ever do come to Dullivan, there's a lot of billboards that tell a story about it. You know, there's a lot of history. So, yeah, next time you're in Dullivan, look for that. You know, look for some of the billboards that are they're put up around Delavan there and they'll tell you a lot of history of what went on with the circus. The world's wild tiger population the last hundred years. We are proud to be able to offer our animals a safe and a caring home, to be able to share them with you all, and to develop something that nobody else in the world does. A lot of you saw before the show, I like to call it tiger finger painting. With our seven-year-old Zuri, we make paw prints using kids' washable finger paint. It's a cool souvenir to take home at the end of your day, and be able to gift shop on your way home. But more importantly, the proceeds of every paw print are helping us to protect wild tigers that don't have the same luxuries that ours do. Through a partnership with the International Elephant Foundation, Show Me Tigers has raised $25,000 over the last three years towards protecting wild tigers in the Way Compass National Park in Sumatra. Sumatra has less than 400 tigers left. They're the last of the island's subspecies. 
They have lost over 50% of their natural forest cover since 1985 due to the expansion of plantations for the paper industry, the pulp industry, and something that's in everything that we call palm oil. We are helping to support conservation response units, which are park rangers protecting wild tiger habitat, as well as the habitat of their prey, and many other keystone species like Sumatran elephants, rhinos, orangutans, some of the most endangered species in the world. This year, as we did last year, we have doubled our annual pledge to $10,000 to continue to help to support these efforts. We are proud to put our money where our mouth is and to have our circus tigers lending a paw to help protect wild tigers. We hope you guys will do the same. This year, on July 27th, in celebration of Global Tiger Day, we will be hosting a special after-hours, behind-the-scenes event called An Evening with Tigers. We have more information about that event on our Facebook page at Show Me Tigers. I want to thank you all for joining us this afternoon. If you guys have any questions, come on up to the fence. I'd be happy to speak with you in person. We invite you on back to see our tigers enjoying and relaxing the rest of their day. We hope you enjoy the rest of your day here at Circus World. Okay, we're in a circus carriage uh, building where you see some of the carriages. We got that one there. And uh, get over to see this one here. That's a pretty one there, really nice. We got some kind of a organ piece up here. Some of the stuff you see on display. Another carriage. Okay, and then first part of the building when you come in you're going to see a lot of posters and a lot of some of the old stuff that from way back into the museum here kind of hit this last on the way out here just to give you a little idea what you're going to see Some more posters. Starting up that organ. Okay, 
we're going to some place that we've been waiting to see. A building with all the coaches in it. There we go. We've been looking for this building. Wow. A lot of nice coaches looking in here. Some of these might be hard to get because we're going to have a little problem with windows. Those will turn black on me because of glare. That's okay. They're tucked in pretty good. There's a lot of them in here. Well, folks, you gotta come up here to see this in person. This is really, really cool.
All right, we got this one here. That's all wood carvings, or if that's plastic, uh, plastic stuff. Or what? Okay, oh, nice little one here. That's what this building is. I knew there was a maintenance building. That's what this is. Okay, guys, this is the area where they build wagons in here. I can't get into this room because it's locked up, but. It's the main thing that's good. You can see what goes on. There's a lot of parts and stuff they work on in here. A lot of work goes into making this stuff. There's a wagon there building a frame now. And right behind that one, they got one painted up. Okay, guys, I don't know if you can see this very good, but this can have pictures of uh, what the railroad used to look like back in its day. 100 cars. Yeah, 100 railroad cars in that one big sh uh Picture right up there in the top right. And that's all circus cars. Look at all the elephants in that one row there. Pretty amazing. And down here, they had a derailment. Okay, that concludes our, uh, our journey on the uh, Circus Museum up here in Baraboo. And uh, it was uh, quite a walk. You got a lot of walking around to do and a lot of things to see. And uh, there's a lot of, a lot of good stuff here. Uh, you better figure if you're gonna come up here, you should come up here about 10 o'clock because otherwise you uh, get up here about noon like we did or one o'clock or close to one o'clock you end up screwing up your your uh, rhythm for your shows and you miss all your shows you gotta you gotta get here at, a, at the right time so you can you know plan all the shows that they got going on up here that's what we found out so we we hit the timing wrong so we ended up missing a lot, a lot of the shows so uh you want to call up here and re, re, you know Get reservations or not reservation but you know get your tickets ahead of time you get them online and then you know exactly what time you need to be here and there's plenty of room out front to park there's no problem you know so you won't have a problem there so guys how'd you like it what you've seen i gave you a sneak preview of just about everything except shows you know shows are hard to get because we our timing was way off we couldn't get a show in if we, our life depended on it but I gave you a sneak preview of what's on the grounds. There's plenty here to see. Uh, all I can say is that it's not cheap. Not cheap by all means. You know, uh, you're looking at a $20 bill. For seniors, it's $17, you know. So that's what you're looking at. And, uh, you want to plan a day where it's not going to rain, of course, because a lot of stuff's outside. And uh, it is a museum. 
You know, it's not a circus circus. It's a museum. So a lot of stuff you're going to be looking at is going to be uh, stuff you're going to see inside the buildings, you know, like the carriages and uh, a lot of different displays, a lot of posters and stuff, a lot of pictures, stuff like that. Uh, tiger, <laughs> I'm looking at tigers right off my left here. They're all, they're all laying down. They're enjoying themselves. Yeah, they got a good, the only time they work is when they got to do their little display. Yeah, we got there right at the end. There wasn't hardly nothing there. We got there. Our time was way off on that. I think we got, what, three minutes? Three minutes is about all we got. Sorry about that, guys. You know, I wish we could have got there at the right time, but we were way on the other side of the river here, you know, the Baraboo River. But, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed what, what I brought to you and uh, give you an idea what it's like. My brother, he's all wore out. <laughs> but uh, it's a lot of walking. There's probably quite a few acres here, you know, to walk around and, you know, but I enjoyed it. You know, there's a lot to see. So guys, like always, if you're brand new to my channel, subscribe, hit that thumbs up and uh, leave some comments. And uh, I really love all you guys that subscribed to me already. You guys did a great job supporting me, and uh, keep leaving the comments. Uh, I really enjoy reading them, and I'll support you back. And uh, it's life can't treat me any better, man. Tell you what, I've had more fun lately getting out in the boat and seeing stuff, and uh, I never got to do that before. And uh, I'm really starting to enjoy myself now. So, uh, yeah. So, guys, you take care, and we'll see you on the next video. All right? Bye.